Hey everybody, this is my 125 gallon New World tank. And not too long ago, I did a really big water change, probably 60 to 70%. And as I was filling the tank back up, I noticed that the fish were just sitting in the current. They were facing upstream, just kind of doing their thing, chilling out. You will see that I've got a lot of the silver dollars, even my um, angelfish is sitting in there somewhere just kind of hanging out, relaxing, doing their thing. And that is pretty much what they looked like as the tank was filling back up with water. And it just got me thinking about how I have heard people say in the past, um, well, they talk about their fish being sort of excited after they've done a big water change and the fish swim around the tank. And I get the impression that they're talking about it in the same sense that uh, like if you let a, a puppy out or you come home from work and your dog gets the zoomies and runs around the house because it's all excited and happy to see you. Um, and, and fish don't do that. You know, fish don't get the zoomies. They don't get excited because you're putting fresh water in the tank. You may see a little bit of difference in the fish's behavior after a water change, but that's going to be uh, a difference in behavior in terms of maybe a little bit of spawning behavior. You might see some of that, or you might see some you know, expectant feeding behavior where they're sort of swimming around, maybe looking for food uh, the same way they might get a little bit excited when you walk up to the tank, but it's clearly an attempt to find food or something. The idea that they're simply excited and happy that they're getting fresh water in their tank or that they're somehow sort of aware that they're getting fresh water or something, that's not really the case, I don't think. Typically, when you've got fish that are darting and dashing around the tank like that, especially after you've done a large water change, it sounds more likely to me that what's going on is that the water you're putting back in the tank is a little too drastically different for the fish's liking, and the fish are sort of swimming around looking for a way out. I remember when I first started keeping fish, uh, I got a big spot synodontist. I can't remember what they're actually called, uh, oscillatus or something. Anyway, it was a big spot synodontist, and I put it in one of my tanks, and it just kept swimming around all over the place, and it was jumping in, in, in the water and everything, and I just it seemed like odd behavior, and I kept thinking it didn't have the right kind of hiding places, or maybe it didn't. Uh, like the, the tank mates or something like that. And so I put it in what is now my Garami tank and it still, you know, swam around pretty, you know, vigorously. I really wasn't sure what was going on exactly, but I could certainly see somebody mistaking that for excited behavior. And when I came down the following morning, it was on the floor. It had jumped so hard against the glass that it had knocked the lid open and come out and was you know basically dried up on the floor overnight and later i found out that those fish are hard water fish and of course i didn't know that at the time and the people at the shop didn't tell me that and of course i have very very soft water uh very soft water and it just wasn't the right water for the fish and so a fish that's supposed to be in hard basic water was in very soft acidic water i literally had that fish swimming around in acid water and it was trying to get out of it. And ultimately, unfortunately, it did get out of it. But if it hadn't done that, it would have died eventually anyway because it was in very wrong water. So when you do a big water change, it's entirely likely that you're shifting the pH or you're shifting the hardness. Uh, temperature is not really probably going to be a factor unless you're really shifting the temperature a huge um, you know, amount. If you're shifting it maybe 10 degrees or something, you might see the fish responding to a temperature change. It's probably going to be either the water hardness, uh, the total dissolved solids is, is shifting too much. That's a possibility. And water hardness and total dissolved solids are not quite the same thing. I know a lot of times water hardness is rated in TDS, but that's not entirely accurate. I've shot other videos talking about that, so I'm not going to get into that at the moment. Uh, we can talk about that in the future if anyone's interested, though. But as far as shifting the hardness, shifting the pH, or shifting the TDS, 
that is what is going to really make your fish distressed and swimming around as though they're trying to find a way out of the tank. So I'm not saying that's exactly what's happening in your aquarium if your fish do get rather excitable after a water change, but if they do, it's worth checking your water. It's worth looking at what's going on in your tank before you do the water change, check your pH, uh, check the water hardness, check as many parameters as you can check. And then when you do the water, you know, look at your source water, find out how close the pH is to the pH in your tank and find out how much total dissolved solids are in your tap water um, versus what's in your tank water. And if it's radically different, you know, if you've got a, a TDS coming out of your tap that's, you know, two or 300 parts per million, but you've got 900 parts per million in your tank, Figure out why there's that difference and what that difference is before you do really massive water changes. If you've got really hard water and it softens up over time, you've got a lot of tannins in your tank or whatever and the water gradually becomes uh, softer and you decide one day you're going to do a really big water change and you start shifting that hardness around. That's definitely something that will make fish swim around feeling very uncomfortable for a while until they sort of adjust and then they'll settle back down and everything will be okay. So again, not saying that's exactly what's going on in your tank, but it is definitely worth having a look at those water parameters if you're gonna mess around with really big water uh, changes. You stick to the old 10%, you know, frequent water changes, small frequent water changes, you're gonna be much, much safer and you really got a lot less to worry about if you do it that way. You do really big water changes, then you better be pretty confident that your water is not gonna shift in chemistry too much when you do that or you can actually distress your fish. You can even lose fish uh, by doing that. I've actually lost fish in the past by doing too much and too often. So there you go, that's my thoughts for today. I'm going to leave you with a larger view of the overall tank. It's a little dirtier down at that end. I didn't get to wipe the glass down the other day. And, of course, there's not a lot of fish down at that end anyway. So, not really worth worrying too much about. So, there you go, everybody. Don't forget that is my 125-gallon New World tank. We are going to be modifying it here pretty soon. That big piece of wood you see right there, uh, unfortunately, is going to be coming out. I know it looks really good, but it just doesn't do it for me. It just doesn't work in there for me. So, we're going to be pulling that out of there at some point. So make sure you subscribe. You won't miss that or anything else. And I'm going to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you real soon in the next one.